It's Saturday, December 31st, and this is your special end of the year edition of the Milwaukee Rep Insider. Hello everyone, I'm Austin Bean here with all the latest on what's going on around the Rep. And this week we are taking a look back at the year that was here in Milwaukee. We started with Mark's critically acclaimed production of Of Mice and Men in January, and of course ended with our brand new adaptation of A Christmas Carol, three years in the making. And in between, we've had many great shows and, we hope, many great experiences for everyone who visited the Rep this year. Take a look back at some of our favorite moments from this past year. If you value your life, you better get out of my way. Now that 2016 is almost over, it's time to look forward to 2017 and all of the exciting shows about to begin performances. We are so pleased to welcome two award-winning playwrights back to Milwaukee. Ray, tell us some more information on what you can expect. Beginning in January is our highly anticipated production of Disgraced in the Quadrachi Powerhouse by the Pulitzer Prize-winning playwright and Brookfield native, Ayad Akhtar. Ayad will be back in the Milwaukee area for opening night weekend and there will be several great chances to meet this world-class playwright. Before the Wednesday evening preview of Disgraced, Ayad will be giving a pre-show talk about the show that will be open to the public. He will also be speaking at the Milwaukee Press Club Newsmakers Luncheon on Thursday, January 19th at noon. This event is also open to the public. He'll make his last appearance here in Milwaukee at one of his old hangout spots of Boswell's Books on the East Side for a free event. The same exact weekend in the Stackner Cabaret, the play about Marquette basketball coach McGuire will begin performances. And its playwright, Dick Emberg, the voice of sports on CBS, the San Diego Padres, and the Rose Bowl, and so much more, will be here in Milwaukee for one weekend only, making Milwaukee the place to run into some of your favorite playwrights the weekend of January 20th. For more information on all of the places you can see these two great playwrights, visit our website at www.milwaukeerep.com. Beginning in February, the new play Grounded by George Brandt will begin performances in the Steam Key Studio. This one-woman play for our times features an ace fighter pilot who finds herself in a tough situation when an unexpected pregnancy puts her career on hold. This play addresses a number of deep issues, such as PTSD, modern warfare, and current global relations, all in one intense play. And who better to take the helm of this production than Chicago's own Jesse Fisher? Jesse is a successful actor working in Chicago and New York on Broadway, including as the lead in the musical Once. Now she'll be making her Milwaukee debut in this wonderful production. You can see Jesse on stage beginning February 22nd. You won't want to miss this thrilling production. Thanks, Frank. We really hope you enjoyed this amazing and very important production. And the show is being directed by another artist making her Milwaukee rep debut, Milwaukee native Laura Braza. We'll be talking about her more in the upcoming weeks, but until then, you can keep up with everything going on here at the rep on our Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram pages at at MILWrep. That's it for this week, but we'll be back next year with updates on all of our exciting shows. So for now, we leave you with a few more of our favorite moments from the past year. Cheers. This is my quest to follow that star, no matter how hopeless, no matter how far, to fight for the right without question or pause, to be willing to march into hell for heavenly cause, and I know
Chavo. <laughs>